Hi, this is Ashwin from Circuit Digest and in this video I'll show you how you can use a multimeter like this one to check if your Zener diode is working or not. So there are actually two things that you can do to check if your Zener diode is working or not. So first thing is you can put your multimeter in diode mode. So as you can see this is your diode mode and obviously your red probe should be in voltage and your black probe should be in calm. Then you can take your Zener diode and in your Zener diode just like your regular diode you will find a stripe you can see a black stripe here so the pin with the stripe is the cathode and the other pin is your anode so now we know that this is your cathode and this is your anode once you know that take the black probe of your multimeter and keep it in the cathode and the red probe should be kept in the anode when you do that you will notice a voltage drop so the voltage drop here is 0 0.8 volt and when you reverse the polarity you will see that it does not give any voltage drop at all. So this means that this Zener diode is working perfectly. So uh, the thing is in the forward bias, meaning when your red probe is in anode and black probe is in cathode, you should see a forward voltage drop, which is around 0 0.8 volt. It can be anywhere between 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 for a Zener diode, if I'm not wrong. Uh, similarly, let's check for another Zener diode. So okay, we have our Zener diode here. And I know that this pin is the cathode and this pin is the anode. So I will just keep my probes. And you can see I'm getting a voltage drop of 0 0.6 volt. And when I flip the polarity, you can see that it doesn't give any voltage drop. So this zener diode is also working. So the other thing that you can do is use your multimeter in voltage mode. Let's place it in 20 volt and make a connection according to this circuit. So what we'll actually do is uh, we will use our Zener diode along with a resistor, uh, for example, a 100 ohm resistor, and we will connect it to a voltage source here and connect it to a ground here. This way, if we put our multimeter across the Zener diode, we will be able to measure the voltage drop across the Zener diode and figure out what type of Zener diode it is. For example, I have made a similar circuit over here. So you can see the resistor over here and the Zener diode over here and I have an input supply here it is 12 volts and here it is ground. Now I can put my meter in a voltage mode and measure the voltage across the Zener diode to figure out what type of Zener diode it is. Now we know that this is the ground so we will put our negative probe here and our positive probe here. And when I do that, you can see that we are getting a voltage drop of 5.09 because this is a 5.1 volt Zener diode. Similarly, you can use any Zener diode here and measure the voltage across it in this setup to figure out what type of Zener diode it is. It can be a 5.1, 3.3. Just make sure that the voltage you are giving here is always higher than the voltage of your Zener diode. So that is it guys. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.